Well, new at 11, St. Joseph County leaders are looking ahead as they challenge, as they see challenges on the horizon. In tonight's State of the County address, they touted successes in 2015, but admit there are things that need to change in 2016. WSBT 22's Heather Black is at the live desk now, and Heather, let's start with the successes. Rick, Commission President Andy Costelny touted the South Shores Express train to Chicago and $600 million of new economic investments. But one thing he wanted to highlight is the challenges ahead with the budget. 2015 was another great year in St. Joseph County. It took about 10 minutes for St. Joseph County Commissioner Andy Castellney to highlight the successes of 2015. However, he finished his State of the County address with ways to tackle the issue of the budget. We've been doing fairly well the last few years. We saw uh, a, a spike in our budget last year, but we know we've got property tax caps that are going to be hitting us fully in 2019. So we're going to have to begin right now to um, find ways to lower our budgets because we know we're going to have to do that in about three years, whether we want to or not. Last year, commissioners vetoed the 2016 budget two to one. Even though the county council overrode that veto, Costelny says they're taking the issue one year at a time. We're just trying to get through our 2016 budget to make sure that we're on pace to be, to be where we need to be there, and then we're going to begin looking to the future in a few months. Sarah Williams, too. Councilmember Raphael Morton says they're already tackling the budget months ahead. The budget process starts basically in June and July, and we are already meeting with an outside consultant on a regular basis, uh, getting detailed reports, and those detailed reports will be used to um, give the council information on a monthly basis uh, way before um, June and July comes around. And another thing Costelny mentioned was improving the communication between departments. He says they also plan to update their website to make St. Joseph County government more transparent for those in the county. At the live desk, Heather Black, WSBT 22 News.